thank you, Team Access, for giving us this opportunity to interact with our audience member networks through the access channels that you are creating for us. The brand that you drive is a big Pan-African brand, and the name is indeed fitting also for the kind of offering and services that you provide to your millions of customers across the continent and across multiple countries. One of the big things for us is to continue to create opportunities that befit the needs and aspirations of our audience member networks through the channels that we work through. And we are indeed grateful that you come along to partner with us through the Graphic Business Channel to launch this small and medium-sized enterprise clinic. As experts, as yourselves would be familiar with, this continent is a very young continent. And the 25s in majority of our African countries constitute in excess of 55% of our population. This very young population also is a very entrepreneurial oriented workforce. Majority of our people will come out of school and would want to do things for themselves. The current millennial digital native communities that we are also dealing with are even more entrepreneurial in spirit than the previous generations before them. And we are confident that in this opportunity that we are creating with yourselves, with a brand as powerful as yours, providing the access, which is at the heart of what it is that your DNA represents, we are in no better place than with Asex Bank. And we are also confident that we will leverage this opportunity to make it worth your investment for today and for the years ahead. We don't get into these partnerships lightly, and we also don't do one-stop projects. We think that when we launch an initiative of this nature, we'll continue to grow it and deepen it to the values that we all seek. And we are confident um, that with the Graphic Business Access Partnership, we would do so much more to the enrichment of lives of our populations in this country. Potentially, this would be another leg of what it is that from your business management and you can export across some of your regional operating countries. For me, as an African expert, these are the things that I believe in. There's so much knowledge that sits in some pockets of the continent that we should be leveraging across borders. It is not always up to us to go and find something from Europe or the uh, North American continents to export into Africa. We, we understand Africa. You understand Africa. You've been working here. You know how Africa works, how Africa thinks, how Africa behaves, how Africa sleeps, and how Africa does business. Why don't we be the ones pioneering some of these initiatives? so that others would also come back and learn from us. Time and again, you will find that it's a World Bank. It's uh, somebody, somebody sitting in Geneva, Brussels, wherever, charting courses for a continent that understands itself. We are Africans, and we have access to this continent. And through this graphic medium and the graphic business specific channel, I believe that we would offer you the very best of opportunities to and tap into this network of uh, small and medium-sized enterprises that we want to drive with this uh, initiative. One of the key things that people always ask themselves when they are into business is, are we looking for money? I, I don't think it is money that drives business. It is ideas. It is the understanding of how business behaves. It's 
putting your systems, your books, and other things in order. Most of the time, young people or potential entrepreneurs will say, oh, now I'm looking for money to start a business. What are you going to do with the money when you come across the money, when you do not have an idea rich enough, robust and resilient enough to translate that into market and in a relevant way? So I believe that through these uh, channels of engagement that this clinic would afford us, we would be able to create access pathways into the SME base of this, of this country to let people understand. It's not the money. Uh, we've seen people who've had money and lost it all. It's because they do not understand the fundamentals of doing certain things and behaving properly. One of the things I believe in as a brand uh, strategist is simple. Whenever you are doing something, do it so well that two things would happen. Either people are inspired or they are jealous. Yes, that's it. I want us to inspire this marketplace that we've tapped into to help regenerate and also make your competitors jealous that they didn't provide the access to this opportunity. So editors and those of you who control the papers and the digital channels among, let us make this thing so big that somebody sitting out there will be like, ah, how did it become access and not us? It's because access was thinking. Access saw an opportunity and tapped into it. I thank you. Um, the motive for this partnership essentially is for us to support the growth of SMEs. Um, not just to support any growth. We think uh, we will need to support a sustainable growth of SMEs. That is why we deem it fit to partner with you. And we think we also have a goal concurrence in uh, developing the economy of Ghana. The, uh, the critical sector, which is the next center of the economy, as people say, is the SME sector. We know how they contribute to the GDP of the country. We know the contribution to employment generation in the economy. Therefore, uh, our priorities are not misplaced at all. Uh, the advent of COVID has really disproportionately affected these SMEs, and the only way we can help them is to create a platform for them to be able to grow. We have learned a number of lessons from uh, this COVID. That is, we can continue doing things the same way. Uh, it is time for us to start doing things out of the normal uh, so that we can achieve a greater height. Uh, we've uh, learned that consumer behavior has changed completely with the advent of COVID. A lot has changed. People are no more walking to stores to buy goods. Um, people are afraid to even go to certain places. Therefore, they can just sit at the comfort of their home to consummate whatever they want. Now, we, we, we at Assize Bank, we realize that for SMEs to be sustainable, they need to be fluid with innovative ideas. So how do we support that process? We have come up with a lot of innovative digital solutions to help in that drive. Uh, we know that since most of them cannot even go out and sell again, uh, a lot of customers are not willing to come to them. The only place for them is to look at the digital environment. So growth in the next years and the future to come will be digitally driven. That is why we have chosen to play in that area. So we are so happy that we are entering into this partnership. We hope we'll create uh, that avenue for businesses to grow. We are going to provide a lot of advisory services for them because it is not just about money. Sometimes when you talk about clinics, people are tempted to, to think that it's just about going to give them money and most often than not, they just divert those monies into other things which are not relevant to their business. So we think we need to equip them with some level of skill, some level of um, knowledge, some level of, we need to expose them and provide them with tools to be able to even chart their course through these challenging times. 
So we, we welcome the partnership. We think we can continue to do more and we expect that we'll continue to collaborate in so many other areas to see how best we can help them develop. I believe we need to sustain such engagement because it is only out of this that you know, we can develop ideas and implement the ideas. More importantly, I think um, SMEs is one area that I believe strongly, if we place a lot of emphasis, can impact on accelerated national development. Many a time, we take it for granted, you know, and we cannot see them grow. But I think we need to be deliberate, and I'm happy the partnership between Graphic you know, and then um, Access Bank is going to see to that. And we at Graphic Business, we have helped most of them to, to you know, shine their light to others. And I think with this partnership, what we, what we would intend doing, I'll discuss with my um, uh, uh, director news and editor of the Daily Graphic, how we can even introduce an SME page so that we can profile some of the, uh, uh, if I may say, very responsible uh, SMEs that you, you, you deal with so that they can be role models for others to also play along. Like Emily said, it's not just the money. It's about the ideas. So if we, if we are able to provide them for the rest of the world to see that these are very responsible SMEs who are playing within the sector and contributing to our economy, I think we'll make a bigger impact. And then our two brands will continue to grow. Thank <laughs> you.